Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, wait, wait a minute, I forgot. If you are new to the channel, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, this is an online exclusive currently with Bath and Body Works and we're going to holla about her for a minute, do a little review and comparison and we're going to talk about white citrus. Yep, she's actually been out for a very long time. Um, we did see her back when I got this bottle, and now this new one, online exclusive. I think her, Fresh Cut Lilacs, and Beautiful Day. I hate when they do that. Like, why can't you just put all the stuff in the store? So I did not smell the new one, but we're going to go based on what I already know about white citrus, because from what I remember with my very first bottle ever, Versus this last bottle I got. It really hasn't changed, honey. Scent notes are lemon zest, sparkling grapefruit, ginger flower, freesia petals, and clean woods. I do like this scent, y'all. I like her a lot. It's a very vibrant, zesty citrus scent, and it's great for in the winter months. So, you know, seasonal depression is a real thing, y'all. It is a real thing, and I appreciate these citrusy, zesty scents that kind of get you in a mood that's a really uplifting mood because citrus notes are known to evoke, like, mood boosters. So if you're feeling a little down, spray some of this shit, and you will feel better, honey. Yeah, I really like this. Um, I'm definitely getting lemon. A little bit of grapefruit. I wish the ginger in this was heavier. And even though it says freesia petals, I don't get anything floral on this whatsoever. And I don't really get any clean woods notes. It's just a very fresh, vibrant citrus scent. That is exactly what this is. I think if they would have done the ginger heavier in here, it would be even better. But it's it's there, but it's not as heavy as it could and should be, in my opinion. But I do like this. Um, I have heard some people say that this can come across kind of like cleaner. Like, you know how, um, like, I don't want to say pine solly, but like lysolly. I've heard people say that. I don't get that. This, to me, has too much ginger and grapefruit in it to allow it to come across like a cleaner solution to me. You know what I mean? I do like this a lot. She is pretty y'all. I will say she is pretty. She definitely is very vibrant. Now let's get into some comparisons. The first y'all, this one, I, I, Bora Bora Citrus Surf. Yes. Citrus is about the only thing in common with this scent. This scent has scent. I, oh my God, this scent, the packaging that this collection was in was freaking gorgeous, y'all. Uh, this is an older bottle, so they did not do scent notes on the bottles, but it was shimmering ocean waves, the scent of crisp, sunny citrus in the air. Scent notes are sugared lemon, dewy water fruit, and vanilla bean. Is so good. It is um, very candied type of a citrus. Yes, like almost like Skittles. Some washed citrus comes across as Skittles to me. This is a very candied citrus. Like you definitely get a hint of vanilla in there, but it's not heavy. But it's super candied and it's very... It's a very candied lemon type of a scent. Uh, very candied fruit, candied citrus. Whereas this, this white citrus is not candied like that. It's literally like fresh citrus with some ginger mixed in. Yeah, there is nothing candied about this at all. Whereas Bora Bora, baby, she banging. She banging, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um... So are they both citrus? Yes, but this is very candied, heavily candied in comparison to white citrus. White citrus is much fresher and cleaner type of a citrus than Bora Bora. No, honey, they are not the same. I also did hear <laughs> grapefruit frosé was compared to it. 
This was released one time and one time only by Bath & Body. We never saw it again. They need to bring Hub back. I've talked about this scent several times in the last few months. I love this scent. Scent notes are sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé, and sun splash sugar. And I think where they were getting the comparison is because they do list grapefruit in here, but it is like super, super grapefruit. This to me is like, I've said it before and I'll say it again, is like a grapefruit cut open, you sprinkle some sugar on top and you're ready to eat that sucker up for breakfast. That's what this is. But there are the sparkling rosé notes in the background. Like whiny, sparkling wine notes in that background, whereas this is not like that. Again, this is fresh, clean citrus. This is heavily grapefruit. The grapefruit is not as heavy in here as in comparison to this one. Yeah, this one's banger, baby. Damn, damn. I really wish they would bring her back because she was just gorgeous. I loved her. Yeah, grapefruit rosé. Another one that I was hearing was Gingham Fresh. Yeah, who remembers Gingham Fresh? She was out last year with Gingham Vibrant and Gingham Gorgeous. Scent notes on Gingham Fresh are Pear, Daisy, and Clementine. Bye-bye. I haven't smelled this in a while. Again, I love doing review and comparisons because I get to smell scents that I maybe haven't smelled in a while, and it's like, hey, girl, I remember you. How you doing, boo? Yeah. Yeah, this is very different. The pear is very heavy in Gingham Fresh. Yeah, like very heavy pear. I don't get a lot of clementine in Gingham Fresh, even though it's listed. Um, and I don't really get a lot of daisy. Like it, maybe it's way in the background. What you predominantly get is pear. Like pear, pear, pear. Yeah, like... The rind of a pear. I, 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 that's exactly what I get. There is no pear in white citrus. The book? What are you talking about? I, I just don't get it sometimes. This is all pear, in my opinion, whereas white citrus, again, fresh citrus. Nothing alike, in my opinion, like at all. So don't buy that horse and pony show they're trying to give you when with that comparison because <laughs> these are nothing alike. It's like night and day. Yes, very fresh, vibrant citruses. And this is pear. <laughs> pear, baby, pear. The last comparison that did kind of make me think a little bit was Dolce, 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 Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is the intense version. It is not the original light blue. I just want to point that out. It has scent notes of lemon, Granny Smith apple, jasmine, marigold, musk, and amberwood. I'm going to spray a little on my hand because I ain't smelled this scent in a hot minute. She is one of my favorites for summer. It's a, uh, I've always, what I remember of this without smelling it is it is um, almost like a citrusy aquatic. That's what I will call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, this has so much more depth to it than white citrus does, y'all. I'm sorry, but it's a fact. You definitely get that burst of lemon in the initial notes. Oh, my God. I forget sometimes how much I love this scent. See, again, this is why I love doing this stuff, y'all. Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Burst of lemon more than anything else initially. I'm not really getting any Granny Smith apple. I do pick up notes of marigold. Marigold can be very beautiful floral scent. It almost has kind of like a little bit of a spicy quality about it, but it's not spicy like patchouli spicy. No, 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 no. Or peony spicy, no. It's almost come, Marigold can sometimes almost come across as how ginger does, if that puts it in perspective. I'm not getting any jasmine. I'm not getting really any musk or amberwood. It's predominantly, in my opinion, a lemon scent, 
mixed with weight florals that are way in the background. Oh my God, dang, this is making me feel good today, honey. We got so much snow here in Northeast Ohio, it is ridiculous. Uh, yesterday we got a total of, was it like 10 inches here where I'm at? And I'm like, I was needing the, the uplift and refresh today, honey. I was needing it. Yeah, this is predominantly, in my opinion, lemon. I will say as it's drying down, I am getting a tiny bit of Granny Smith apple. It's tiny bit, though. Yeah, I love this scent. But in comparison to white citrus, no, this is, um, white citrus are, is, is lighter. It almost has fresher qualities about it. And it's probably those, like, I don't know, they don't say fresh air. But I definitely get a fresh air note in there. Whereas with light blue intense, it is deeper. It has, the lemon is very heavy. And this almost has, almost gives you like a, to your, like a tingle to your nose. If you want, I, I, I guess that's like the best way I can describe that. It's so zesty that it kind of makes you crinkle your nose a little bit. And I'm sure that's the ginger flower and the grapefruit in it. However, light blue intense. It's lemon with that marigold that still has that same zestiness. Now, what I will say is I do think these two would layer beautifully together. Oh, yes. Absolutely beautifully. But are they the same? No, they're not. This is super, like, fresh, clean lemon. Yeah, and I can almost see how this would come across to people like cleaning product. I can almost kind of see that because it's so much like a fresh lemon. Light blue intense. It just has a lot more depth to it. There's a deeper, like it has more um, more moving parts in it that make more complex. That's what it is. It is more complex. You, there, you can tell there are many different notes in this, even though it's predominantly lemon, that you can tell they're mixing well enough together to give an amazing summer scent. I am going to say this is a banger for summer, y'all. Yeah, and as it's drying, that Granny Smith is coming through a little bit more. Yeah, it is beautiful. I do love this scent. I think they would pair beautifully together. You're welcome. Uh, but yeah, but that is my final thought on white citrus and re review and comparison of this scent. Did you pick her up? Have you had her before? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Does it smell like a cleaning product or are you like, or, or do you like think the opposite that it's ama amazing and doesn't smell like cleaner at all? Definitely leave me a comment below and let me know. And uh, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time I upload. Um, I have been hearing and noticing that some of my videos are not being pushed by the algorithm lately, so my views are not nearly as high as they were even a week ago. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I know they mess around with algorithms occasionally, and uh, us creators kind of pay the price for that. But uh, definitely click the bell in your notifications so that you will be alerted because I have had people say they haven't been seeing my videos like they normally have being pushed out as, you know, oh, you may like. So click that bell so you don't ever miss an upload, honey. And I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.